Hey everybody, I had a subscriber ask me about the differences between AC locomotives and DC locomotives and he said that someone had told him, I think on another channel or something, that that it was uh, that uh, some, something about an engine having been converted from AC to DC or vice versa, I don't remember. I didn't know. I'm a signal guy. I'm really not conversant with locomotives, with their types, or anything else. So, I stopped at the office down here to talk to uh, my buddy who is one of the managers in the operating department, and I asked him. And uh, I didn't even know there were AC and DC locomotives. I didn't know even that much. But there are. This locomotive behind me here is an SD70, and it is a DC locomotive. It is one of the early ones, according to him, that of, of this style, what he called the big bodies. And then uh, the smaller engines they have around here that run the locals, the locomotives that the San Joaquin Valley uses, those are all DCs. And let's go take a look at one of those. All right, well, got a couple of locomotives parked here in Bakersfield over my shoulder here. These both belong to the San Joaquin Valley Railroad. They're older locomotives. I don't know what they are. I didn't see any designations on on either of them, but I'm sure some of you know what they are. But uh, they are the older locomotives and they are DC. And uh, they, I don't know how old these are, but they use them every single day and uh, they still seem to be working just fine. All right, got this uh, train pulled up uh, here to Bakersfield just now. Let's go up there and uh, Look at these new AC locomotives. All right, well, this locomotive back here over my shoulder here, the ones that are hooked up to it, doing a crew change here in Bakersfield. This is one of the more modern AC locomotives. And uh, evidently, these are much better engines. They're more powerful. Uh, the dynamic braking is uh, much improved. Uh, friend was telling me that you could darn near stop a train just using dynamic brakes with these new engines and not even have to apply the air. I don't know if he was uh, exaggerating or not, but he said they are much superior locomotives. Also, the person that uh, my viewer was talking to who said something about being able to tell that these were uh, some, in, some locomotive had been swapped from AC to DC. They don't do that. Uh, they run the DC locomotives and until they're wore out, and then they just replace them with an AC locomotive. So, uh, anyway, that is what I now know about locomotives. Uh, I can look at locomotives and tell if they're older or newer. You know, the really old style that were the main road engines when I came to work here, uh, most of those are not even around anymore but back in the into the 80s and stuff until they started the newer style what he called the big bodies i didn't know if that's what they called them but anyway uh i hope that helps uh, if i've made any mistakes in here it's because of what i've been told so anyway uh, keep shooting those ideas keep asking those questions uh, leave them in the comments below shoot me an email at motorport 59 at gmail.com like, share, subscribe, click on the bell if you want to be notified of future content. We'll see you all later.